Hi Virgos, this is your February love and relationship reading. Now the first message card that I have for you is mask and hiding. We have angry. We have crossroads, loss, search and found. And we also have compromise. I agree in teamwork. Okay, so looking at the message cards that i have here for you virgo i feel like someone is hiding their feelings when it comes to you and the relationship and this is making you very angry you may be waiting for someone to reach out to you but this person is not reaching out because they're trying to mask and hide their feelings i feel like someone really does have feelings for you and want a relationship to work but maybe it's just that you guys are not seeing eye to eye um I feel like you feel one way and they feel another when it comes to wanting some type of commitment. I feel like you may be trying to get a commitment from this person and there may be um, sort of blocking that energy because there's someone else in the picture that they know they have to get rid of and they're not ready to get rid of this person. But I feel like this person is making you angry because they're acting like they don't care, but I feel like they really do care, Virgo. Because we have crossroads and we also have compromise. I agree in teamwork. So I feel like this person wants to be with you, but it's like they don't want anyone telling them what to do or they don't want you. Well, they don't, they're, I feel like they're not ready to get rid of this other person or they don't know how to get rid of this other person or they may feel like it's impossible. This could be, um, some of you could be dealing with a partner where they're going through something with their child's mother or child's father and they feel like it's nearly impossible to get rid of this person it could be because of the kids okay and that's not everyone's story but that is someone's story out there because um i'm getting that message from spirit that you're dealing with someone and it's like they want to be with you is what i'm getting here but they feel like they can't because you're requiring something out of them that they're either not ready to do or they can't do right now we have barrier walls up and blocked. Yeah, see, we have reunion. I'm telling you, this person wants to be with you, Virgo. And they see the time is running out. We have anxiety. Time is running out. And we have divine masculine. This guy has his back turned. Now, this could be a male or a female because the cards are not gender-based. But it is a divine masculine card. So, for some of you, it is a masculine okay now for others it could be a feminine okay so you have to take it how it resonates with your situation but this person does care about you but it's like you want them to do something or you you want to talk to them oops, sorry about that you want them to do something or you want to talk to them about something and i feel like this person may not be ready to be open and honest with you about a situation but they still want to be with you they still have love for you but trust me, even though they're trying to like keep a wall up and act like they don't care, they really do. They see that time is running out. We have the anxiety and time is running out card. Normally when this card comes into a love reading, it's like your partner, and this could be you too, Virgo, okay? So if your partner is cross-watching and they may be feeling this way about you, somebody is feeling like time is running out and it's something that they have to do because they may feel like they're gonna lose you. So they have to step up to the plate and do something or say something or talk to you about something. Or if they walked away from you, they know they have to hurry up and come back in. If not, you're going to go towards someone else. Because I feel like this person has a lot of love for you, but it's something that they're trying to get out of is what I'm getting here. It's like they're trying to get out of a situation. Okay, so I see it as for some of you, okay? your partner wants to be with you but they know they have to walk away from something okay they have to walk away from someone else in order to do this and i feel like they don't it's not easy for them to do it for whatever reason and then for others i feel like someone may be stuck in a karmic situation that they know they have to get out of before they come your direction all right so let's get into your reading and let's see what else the universe has to say about your love life virgos yeah, somebody wants to talk to you. We do have the page of wands showing up here. This is the communication card. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And trust me, when I tell you this person miss you and they want to talk, they have something to say, but why are they being stubborn? Somebody's being stubborn here. 
So we have the King of Swords. Yep, we have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Hierophant Reverse. So some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. We have Taurus Energy here. We also have the Ten of Cups, Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And we have Air Energy here. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with the King of Swords. And this person, they want to... They want the Ten of Cups with you, but they want it on their terms. This is so narcissistic uh, because the Hierophant card is in reverse. So for those of you who are not dealing with the Taurus, because this is a Taurus card, so some of you could just be dealing with the Taurus and you guys are going through something and you want the Ten of Cups with this person and they may be giving you a hard time. But for some of you, you're dealing with an air sign, either a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. And this person wants to have um, emotional fulfillment with you. But it's like they're trying to stall on something because it requires them committing. It requires them settling down. So I feel like you may have said, you know what? Like, you you can't just be running around with other people. Like, no, if you're going to be with me, it's just going to be me and you. And I feel like this person is stalling on walking away from something else they got going on or someone else they got going on. So we have the High Priestess here. Yeah, we have the Fool. And we have the Ten of Swords. So I feel like this person has a lot of secrets. Um, around someone that they're dealing with. They may be telling you one thing and doing another. We have the Fool card here, though. So I see this person is going to take a leap of faith, but it's like they're dragging their feet, and I feel like by them dragging their feet, it's causing you a lot of pain. This could have even caused a breakup because this person was dragging their feet. Because we have the Ten of Swords here. You may feel betrayed, stabbed in the back, like this person took advantage of you. They don't appreciate what you bring to the table. You may even be saying to yourself, like, why do you have to decide? Like, what is all the decision about? It's either me or nothing. Like, and I feel like they're trying to make a decision between you and someone else. And this is pissing you off. Yes, we have the Three of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the world in reverse. Yeah. They're they're delaying walking away from someone, but they still want things to work with you. It doesn't make any sense, but that's what I'm seeing here. It's like this person wants to have their cake and eat it too. But they know in order to have something with you, they're gonna have to walk away from this third party. Yes, yeah, so we have the six of wands reverse tears. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with another Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn here. And then we have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles. So it's like <laughs> this person, they know that in order to have a victory with you, because the Six of Wands is in reverse, so this is like something not being successful because they're dragging their feet. They know that you're going to keep your guard up until they do what you asked okay and they're indecisive with the two of pentacles it's like they know that they have to stop juggling they know that they can't have you and this other person they're just not doing it they're, they're dragging their feet we have the seven of pentacles well we have the queen of pentacles in reverse so you drew your own card here so there's a lot of instability in a relationship for some of you or a marriage and you're just sick of it yeah, because we have the three of swords here. So there's heartbreak. There's disappointment. And I feel like the reason why you're mostly disappointed with the situation, Virgos, is because there's so much effort that you put into this and this is why you're finding it hard to give it up because you're like, okay, I put all of this work into this relationship. So I'm just not going to walk away just that easy. But I feel like some of you are like, I can't take much more of the disappointment and the third party situations and, you know, just the lies and the back and forth. I feel like someone runs in and out of the relationship. But we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So this person is interested in you. Yeah, we also have a lover. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. And we have the Knight of Cups. I feel like this person is 
coming back to offer you love, but they're like, like I said, somebody's dragging, oh, they were dragging their feet, not no more. We have the Knight of Swords here, so I feel like somebody's gonna come rushing in. Yeah, we have the Four of Cups. I feel like this person doesn't know. <laughs> they know that you're angry with them. All right, let me just say this, Virgo. If you're no longer with this person, you can still be with them. But for some of you, you're, I feel like you're no longer with this person. And you're thinking that it's over and everything is done with. And I feel like you may be upset and hurting or could be crying over someone. They're not done. Look at this. You have the Knight of Swords. You have the Knight of Cups and the Four of Cups. They don't know what to say. They don't know how to come back. They don't know how to communicate with you right now because you don't want to hear nothing else except for they left this person this third party that's all you want to hear and that they're ready to commit to you and they haven't done the work yet but they still care about you they still love you we have the death card in reverse yeah it's something they need to walk away from we have the moon card yep they're keeping secrets about somebody but they don't want things with you to end so if you could be dealing with the scorpio we have pisces energy here Oh my goodness, we have three major accounts in a row. And we have the devil. This is someone's story. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. Um, don't you don't have to be though. But with the moon card, we have okay, so we have the death card reverse, we have the moon and the devil. Sheesh. We have the uh scorp some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio, Pisces, or a Capricorn. But if not, whoever this person is that you're dealing with, they do not want to lose you but they feel like they already have or they're going to because of this toxic situation that they're in with someone else that they won't walk away from and you're like oh my god walk away from it but i feel like it, they don't see it as being that easy you see it as being easy but they don't it's something that's challenging for them because we have the eight of cups in reverse we have the four of pentacles but they're hanging i feel like they're still going to try to hang on to you yeah with the two of cups they still they love you virgo if they walked away they still want this i just feel like this person they they choose you but they're playing hard to get it's like they're not saying it it's like they're feeling it this person could be very prideful whoever you're dealing with they could just be very like their ego could be so huge and they could be very prideful like they're like oh i'm not gonna say nothing but i feel like they're thinking about you <laughs> And they don't want this situation to end. And I feel like they're gearing up to come in and talk to you about something or reach out to you in some type of way because you did have the Page of Wands as a jumping card here. So they don't want to let you go and they don't want this to be over. But it's like they need to think something through because they're trying to figure out a way to do what you've asked and still have you and still like win the situation over whatever this is for them <clears throat> excuse me it could like i said it could be them walking away from a third person but the person that they're walking away from may have their children or may have their child and they may be afraid that this person is either going to take them to court or they're going to start some type of drama with them but they still don't want to lose you so i feel like this person that you're dealing with if it's not you feeling this way um I mean, if it's not a cross watcher feeling this way about you, Virgo, and if this is you feeling this way about a partner, I feel like the person that you're dealing with feels like they're sitting between a rock and a hard place. And they don't know, like, which way to go with this, but they just know that they don't want to lose you with the two of cups here. It's like they feel like you're going to walk away and be with someone else, but they're not telling you how they feel. That is so weird. I mean, it's not weird. People do it all the time. It's like they don't want to seem vulnerable but they care they they're acting like they don't care but they do care so those are the messages that i have for your love and relationship reading i just want to say thank you for coming to my channel thank you for all those who ordered a private reading i really appreciate it like comment subscribe let me know what you guys are going through out there you can also follow me on facebook twitter or instagram at my cards never lie tarot and before i close out your reading i just want to ask if um you guys could go to my secondary channel which is love compatibility and beyond tarot and subscribe we're going to be talking about a lot of different content on that channel we're going to be talking about some astrology we're going to be getting into karmic partners, divine masculine, divine feminine. We're also going to be doing the compatibility of the different zodiac signs. You know, if you guys get along and if you guys don't get along, um, 
and just a whole lot of other different things okay so um thank you guys for everyone who has already subscribed to this channel i really appreciate it and i will see you guys next month bye